Warning, this video is intended for a mature audience. You understand? Viewer discretion is advised. Yay! <laughs> All right, this is Billy Bob Tanley here, people, and this is a request from Cyborg Parrot, and it was uploaded by Channel Awesome, and the name of this video is Food Fight Nostalgia Critic. Fuck yeah, let's check it out. Yay. Here we go, man. Food Fight. Food Fight. Really? Huh. How many Food Fight videos have I seen? I know John Tron, I think, talked about it, and somebody else, and I don't think I've seen the critic one yet, have I? I don't know, it's always going to seem for me. Whoa. What the fuck was I at? Angry Joe's here? Okay. What an opening. Batman? Superman? Okay, then. It is that food fight, isn't it? <sighs> okay, that's random. Honey, I'm home. Oh, I forgot. I'm not married. Well, neither am I, man. Well, are you married? I thought I heard he had a wife. Maybe I'm wrong. I ain't gonna get married, but I wish I had a girlfriend, though. Hey, Critter, With no drama. What's happened to him? I heard the Nazis would have used it if they ran out. Oh, he reviewed it already, Critter, didn't he? Are you sure? Oh, he's about to. Ah, oh, come on, man. Don't this drink that fuck. <laughs> <This is the laughs> fucking jizz. And it dripping on his face. Man. A of come on. What's happened to him, though? <laughs> okay, I thought I was going to splash him. <laughs> he hasn't even reviewed it yet. This is something you should have after you review it, isn't it? Okay. I'll do that shit. Somebody's gonna use that. What are you doing? You're wasted, man. What the hell's wrong with you, Twinkle? Why are you abusing a Hawaiian punch? This has something to do with Food Fight, right? Am I watching the ending first? <laughs> He's lost his shit. This is totally pointless. Just review the fucking movie. It's bad, but I've seen worse. Remember Garbage Pail Kids? <sighs> I think I've had moments like that. One hour earlier. Okay. This makes more sense. Food fight is a must. Food fight time. What the hell no. is food fight? Oh Why God! Why does everybody want me to review it? Well, according to our research, food fight is one of the worst, if not the worst, pierced. animated film of all time. Worst? Like worst? Worst? It only came out last year, but it seems to be growing in underground following no. at surprisingly rapid rates. Charlie Sheen as the doll. If serves correctly, this flop could be as popular as The Room and Birdemic combined. It could easily be the next big thing. <sighs> The he reviewed Bird Dimmick. reviewed it so far, which means it's potential it to still be milk like a lactating Clarabelle cow. Wait a minute. So you're saying that if I jump aboard the bandwagon before it even becomes a bandwagon, I could be one of the front runners of the bandwagon? What? Potentially. <laughs> well, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna be on the one of the most popular bad anime films of all time. I wouldn't be too hopeful, critic. Here's a video of the last person who tried to review this movie. She looked good. What the fuck? After these messages, thing. Oh, I'm sure he's fine. Keep checking those numbers. What it's the least you can do to indulge the brilliant intellectual minds I decided to write for you all of a sudden. I guess the Flash jump off a cliff. I don't. Well, it's a little hard to talk about this piece of shit without addressing its background. Oh no. The film was supposed to be sort of the Wreck It Ralph of food icons, combining really? copyright There's characters Mrs. Butters and Butters grocery aisles. It was also supposed to come out in guy. 2002. But due to production problems, copyright issues, and even somebody stealing the footage, Fuck really? copyright somebody bullshit. wanted to steal this? 
The film was tinkered, altered, and pushed back to ten years. Yeah, later. that's right. They pushed but it back. But thank God, ten years doesn't make a difference. And to they such still decide to finish it. Like Hillary Duff, Chris Kattan, Eva Longoria, and twenty-four-seven Dodger of controversy Charlie Sheen. I'm sure He's all these people will be just as big <sighs> in 2012 as they were in 2002. <laughs> You'll be sorry. Oh, There's even boy. reports that apparently $65 million went into making this stinker. That could have been used. $65 million? That could have been used well, for something much better. Maybe it'll be like Waterworld, where at the I would have done much more better with that shit. Some good. Be impressive. So, let's find out Fuck. by taking a look at what a waste. Who's fight. $65 million. Good so night, good. Mr. Leonard. Don't work too late now. Just closing up. Why is he Nothing standing like that? Nothing around here after dark. $65 million, folks! Clearly the money is shit. on the screen! By God, look at this! How <laughs> could that amount of money go into something that's so shitty looking? What? Was somebody actually Retard doing enough to team up Uwe Boll and Tommy Wiseau as this film's <laughs> budget accountants? The money laundering for this story, might be Mark. a loophole black Boy, hole. Said. So we see a store closing down for the night called Market Opel. You sure I haven't seen this? Redundant, much redundant? <laughs> when the real world opens up inside. Here it goes. I'm not exactly sure how this works. If the store actually this transforms opening. at night, or if Marketopolis is a how does this state? This of is being, in the, the mall right here. This the world exists store. and can only be described as what your nightmares would look like if they never rendered properly. Not this no, shit again. Ah, so uh, you goddamn motherfucker! And at the foreground of this world in the is Charlie Sheen's character, Dex Dog Detective. Dex, yeah. Hey, hairless hamsters. Want some of this? <laughs> I thought they were peas. And I know what you're thinking. For a minute. Boy, have the Ratchet and Clank games really gone downhill. But actually, it's just Dex saving a bunch like of kittens no from a Clank. villain that, like in most bad movies, won't connect to anything else in the plot. It is you, the great Dex Dug. Get this out of here. If I had a raisin for every time I've heard that one. Hey, what? I don't know, it's I stupid. Would be so ashamed. Don't question. Okay, it's just you and me, fat cat. Now four. Wait a minute. What was that character's name? Listen up, fat, fat cat, cat burglar. I'm giving you one last chance. Okay, first of all, Disney, sue something. Second, <laughs> is the movie actually so stupid that it can't tell the difference between a rat and a cat? Maybe that was an error. And they it's so fucking it obviously a rat. Like Sixty-five they want to get million sued. dollars, and they can't even tell the difference between a rat and a cat. Is it kind of a no-brainer you don't give don't 65 care. million dollars to a person who would fail a Fisher-Price Barnyard Animals game? They didn't care. The kitty cat goes... Squeak, squeak! Give him all our money! Clearly we're dealing really? with artistic genius here! I pooped myself. Give him an extra grand for that. All right, lock him up. So the kittens are saved by McGruff the Crap Dog. For the record, I was also considering Indiana Bones. And Indiana he heads on Bones. over to what Rip. else? His sassy black sidekick. Oh God! Who are you talking to? Relax, bro. Oh, what's he called again? Oh, I told you, dog. Great idea. Uh, you never mind. Man. I'm getting confused with you by the leftover racism from Transformers 2. <laughs> as Wayne Brady as this frightening combination of teeth and fever dreams, who gets excited when he learns that Dex is going to ask his sweetheart to marry him. He's a squirrel. Who is his bro. sweetheart? I knew you'd find me. Creepy eyes. <laughs> That <laughs> scariness is apparently sunshine goodness, played by Hillary Duff. A and she looks more human than the rest of them. by a designer who clearly has to ask himself more questions about his sexuality. Hungry tough guy? Hiya, kitten. How about this we looks get like a girl with cat ears. To make us a huge feast among us dinner. And yes, I too realize that she looks much more like a human and practically nothing like a cat. That's Kids what I see. Did a cat Snub you at a party <laughs> so you sure refuse he's... to portray them on any form of film? The idea of them getting they married gets him. Daredevil Dan so touched that he cries pellets. <laughs> I don't know. But Sunshine has to head out before Dex can <laughs> pop the question. Don't worry. It'll just be a minute. Save my ice cream. I'll be right back. She disappears, okay? don't she? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna put this on ya. We all know that's pretty Kidnap much me. Okay, yeah. Sure we'll enough, do she does disappear, and six months later, Dex gives up the dog detective business and decides to open up a club called the Copa Banana. 
Well, that's cool. What? A salesperson played by Christopher Lloyd comes in, and what the <laughs> hell am I looking at? I'm not your brand X representative. It looks like a boot. I wasn't expecting any new products. <laughs> he's not a human. Customer. I think he's a robot. Oh, no, how they live. With our brand hats. Okay, this went from submitting a stick uh, figure to an art museum embarrassing to shitting fuel. your pants in front of Pixar claiming it's your magnum opus embarrassing. <laughs> Though we'll see how that turns out. But what the fuck's going on here? I forgot. Oh, no, I don't really care. Oh, I'll make space. It's practically a dick. He's got the shits, or he's got the a one of his ass. Fittest. Was it. Really? Somebody's dream to give a personality to mask number five from the Dark Knight? <laughs> Would you trust a guy if he was selling something and looked and acted like this? <laughs> no, it Good evening, that. madam. Can oh, I shit. interest you in my product? It's called Evil you need to call Poison the cops. Bites Death. Um, I'm sorry, that doesn't seem like a product I'd be interested in. Oh, come now. Hello, Get your nice pass for Judge, right, folks? The wholesome, attractive image of Satan's <laughs> anus that it so <laughs> desperately needs. I'm going to need nice you in the crotch if you don't leave right First, now. Well, That's just what the Jehovah's Witness said. <laughs> be go. honest, I came on too strong, didn't I? <laughs> So the grocery store owner, of course, agrees to such a puppy They're dog looking creepy. man, and Brand X begins to be brought into the Brand store. Brand X, Back yesterday. in Sam and Max hit the sauce, we see Dex makes his way to Casa de Cameo, which is the hangout the for big name icons like Mr. Clean, Charlie just, the Tuna, and the California Raisins. It's just cameos. The funny thing is that the people They're who not the obviously said no to using their product icons in this movie all have really ugly, really bitter substitutes that, I guess, are trying to stick it back to the people who deny the know. use of it's their stupid. image. Like, this is their version of Chiquita Banana. Do I look like the Dairy Queen to you? And this is obviously supposed to be the Keebler Elves. I hate you! No, Why didn't they just let them The Brawny them? Man. The stop it! Stop it! No, that's not a bunch of stupid a chocolate fucks. cereal vampire? I wonder who that's supposed to be. Chocolate Cal vampire used to have Cal cows. Cal pretty good for biting it. Most of them are portrayed as either stupid, ugly, or not very That helpful. is not Mary It's Pugh. kind of like the movie's way of saying, oh yeah, you missed out, guys. You too could have been in a movie where farting is the highlight okay, that's of not people funny. tripping that's just on other people's butts. I think we Shit. know who the losers are in this deal. <laughs> Give him another uh, crack. Stop. And I guess the representative of Brand X in this world oh, yeah. is Lady X. A supposedly sexy seductress with the dead, lifeless eyes of a plastic now blow she's doll and a personality well, she just as human. interesting to match. Of all the produce bars and all the supermarkets she wants to in the doll. world. She had a walk the in line. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Every scene that has Dex in it has to end in a bad pun. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, Nostalgia Craig, you say every about everything. But no, literally, every <laughs> scene ends with a bad pun. Time to banana split out of my club. My problem That's is not just funny. a of coffee beans. Let's snap, crackle, and pop out of here. How the ho-hos can this be happening? I don't know if I can cut <sighs> the mustard. I've got a bone to pick with this guy. $65 million. Dollars. It sure does a body good. Some of them don't even make a lick of sense. Nothing Let's strawberry knows. jam out this of here. This movie don't. The only thing more demeaning okay. than that is all the sexual innuendos. Oh yeah, there's a ton of those in this. Isn't this supposed to be for kids? I your bubbles, Dad. It warms my heart the way you love my raisins. She's got a real sweet tooth for chocolate. You already eat through to his hollow center. They know what they're saying. Are real? There are some stains you can never wash out. Dancing <sighs> man, melts in your mouth, not in your hands. Because a movie like this clearly needs that adult edge for the audience they're obviously going for. What the kids, though, they're kids Chicks watching. Take chocolate. Like there's some grown up somewhere watching this movie with their kids <laughs> saying, Hmm, well I was gonna turn this off and not expose my child to such a piece of shit, but then it acknowledged I'm a pervert in a way that my kid won't understand. This movie really gets me. Sneak it in there, the right? The innuendos are so many and kids so strange, pick up you have to wonder if the director had some sort Jeez. of other sexual agenda on his mic. Crying over spilt milk. What the fuck this she... is a fetish film. <laughs> okay, between okay, innuendos, the cat lady, and the fact porn. that every outfit this woman wears, even a dominatrix would say is background. too silly. <laughs> fetish film. And by the way, black oh. gloves? Really? The design is so weird that creates the illusion that her hands are on backwards. On top of that, it looks like her arm is melting in Al Borland's shirt. Is this actually what? a popular thing and I just never noticed? I don't You've know. You've been through the wash plenty. I can see it in your eyes. 
So Dex starts to notice something along with stereotype number 20 here. Are you saying what I think Shoes is saying? Hey, what's you Italians getting upset <laughs> about, sis? That being that Lady X is starting to rub out the other characters. Oh, you have to help me, Dex, before I go bald! Mr. Not Queen. That bald isn't beautiful! I don't. Can he not talk? Get involved. Really? Mr. Clean showed up just for that one joke. He, he wasn't uh, even around him enough, in the rest ma'am. of the scene, and suddenly he appears <laughs> when they said the word bald, and now That's he's it. just stuck there. Stone Cold's bald, Look why didn't he him. make appearance? He's just standing around like, uh, is there anything else you wanted me to do? <laughs> Was I really just a pawn in your lame-ass little punchline? This is not a I grocery store. I have a PhD store. in physics. Perhaps I could educate the young children watching about fluid or solid mechanics or... <laughs> uh, or I'll just in this look shit. over here. Yeah, I'm sure I'll show in up this when scene. you make another boob joke. Next, please. Doesn't take long. So Dex right decides it's time to go get some answers from the street. From the street. Everybody seems to be oh my god. Oh my god, his dick's talking. His dick's talking. I think you're over, man. Give up. That's a pervert. What is that? Tell me you wouldn't again? be shocked if they went that direction. But this dish is extra spicy. Cut its head off. Yeah, what is something wrong with else you'll notice is the motion capture arm acting. I guess because the expressions in this movie are <laughs> non-existent, all the acting comes through how much the characters <laughs> awkwardly wave their arms. It's like watching C-3PO have a seizure, but even he somehow would have more expression on his face than these guys. Not he that bald isn't beautiful. All too D2, where <laughs> are you? So Dex and Dan There's go to get the and animals from, there. you won't believe this, another scary demon of hell. I'm just gonna close no my eyes you lose your mind. goes away. Brandex, I can't keep getting no, my gun out for this. It's too, it's too much. <laughs> what the well, fuck was that? Well, at least they're not the ultimate insult by giving him a stereotypical Jewish accent. But it's in the expiration station, and at the other end of the store, now you'd never make it there. You're showing more this than the other reviews did. Daytime. No. Just Are there any other groups you like to insult? I mean, the human race is so vast and full of variety. I'm sure you can find sucks. the black face of every single person on the planet. Ugh. In fact, why even focus on a group? Why not just show us ugliness in any shape or form? You're they good like at ugliness. That. Don't even give a reason. Just use it in this scene where they now physically exist in the store, again adding no continuity this is so to how dumb. the fuck this world works. And just throw in whatever terrible, ungodly thing comes out of your head. Oh, Larry, I am not what? 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 Satanic, man. Right, it'll stop you from scaring the living animal Jesus out of me. I'll confess. I'll confess. I was the one who canceled Firefly. I was the one who encouraged Fred to be an online series. I was the one who what? told Taco Bell to make a breakfast menu. I was the one who told John Travolta how to pronounce the peanut butter. I was the one getting rid of the cartoons on Cartoon Network. Just take I can't me catch all that, man. You sound like a squeaker. <laughs> no, nuke that place, man. I think we need a break. Here's some commercials. For the oh. love of God, don't make a movie out of them! So they come across a mascot who's a chocolate vampire for a chocolate cereal. Chocolate Clearly, vampire. Clearly, this is supposed to be Captain Crunch. I hey, am it's the not undead. Captain. I thought it was right? Count Chocula. The undead. You know, you, you, you're not dead, but you're not exactly living either. It's sort of like being in summer school. <laughs> oh, you're on, that's funny. funny. No, that's funny. Shut the fuck Let's up. Let's not lose our senses of humor. You have to have one before you can lose it. Yeah, so they decide no to get this. all the brands together to stop the evil Lady X and her Brand X army. But not before her head of the guards tries to shut down the Coco Ooh. Banana. And unless you care to suffer a long, cruel expiration, well, your face. you will sing your allegiance to Brand X. Oh no, they got what Tim the Curry in on this too. Why Did Tim? They? Why? Is that I him? was seeing if I could do anything oh. more demeaning than saying Ducks Rock. This is a very clear sign that I can. Brand X, Brand X, it's simple and plain. Brand X, Brand Oh God, X, in this. But, all the same. but Dex comes in and starts singing their triumphant song. 
the French national anthem. I'm losing so much brain cells. No. It's a no. That's enough of this shit. Gee, this scene looks familiar. In a way that, unless you saw the original movie, this would make absolutely no sense whatsoever. I don't remember, And it's Liam. extremely unlikely any little kid would have seen this movie, so this probably makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. It's If you haven't guessed something. it yet, they're clearly paying homage to barbed wire. Look, I know it's Pamela Anderson's greatest I've performance, it. but it's oh. unlikely most children have viewed its genius. Damn. This is pure torture cringe. So he comes back with a bigger army, and it looks like their battle has just begun. Come and get me, baby. He's on the roof! Get him! Jazz hands! Jazz hands! Jazz hands! Jazz hands! Shit. It's diarrhea. Wow. Absolutely outstanding detail. It's terrible. Surely they must have asked Pixar to do this breathtaking work of genius. Actually, they did. And after reading the script, not only did they send this terrible animation as a joke, no. but they also attached a handwritten note saying, Go fuck yourself, signed by John Lasseter. But the Good director damn. was so lazy, he used the clip anyway. <laughs> $65 million, remember that. To and make this wow. shit. Look at this amazingness. Surely they must have had uh, three words to have this incredible Oh god, he got done. a facial right Actually, there. Actually, they did. And after they read the script, they sent them this bit in the face render, while also sending out a picture of Spielberg, Katzenberg, and Jeffen all mooning the camera and giving them fingers. <laughs> that shit out of here, man. The director was too lazy, so he used the clip anyway. God, what the fuck's wrong with you? Wow. Unbelievable wow. Surely food. such epic magnitude must have been asked to be done by Blue Sky Studios. Actually, Blue Sky they Studio? did! And they asked if they can turn it into a horrible franchise. This is a horror film. Don't be shocked if you see this coming soon to a theater near you. No! Actually, they probably make fun of us. Hey look, there's the Twinkie guy! I'm sure he's gonna do something really big and really important coming up. After really? all, he is one of the biggest characters on the poster. Oh, that's right. Along with these other icons you've barely seen in the movie. Hell, Dax and Sunshine are one third of their size. Surely all of them are gonna get together and do something just, uh, huge in the movie's climax. The like, Bubblegum. say nothing, pretty much do nothing. And it's all because a of rocks and bullshit. Worse than the money for nothing video. And okay, a lot of you I've might be that. shouting, "That's phenomenal false advertising in a film that is absolutely nothing but advertising." They shouldn't have but put this that is on incredibly cover. common of even good films. Heck, I once saw a Star Wars poster where the main focus was the mouse droid, and we all know what a gigantic <laughs> part he played, right? The movie would have been nothing without him. That day, I can't remember who it was. You can, Dex Dog Detective. For soon, I'll have you sitting up and begging for mercy. Exobites, fly! What the fuck? <laughs> Kids, Phil! There's enough fetish fuel in this movie for everybody! So they knew what they were doing. Dan and the others try taking <laughs> flight to stop her as Dan is just doing stuff just you don't ass. do on an airplane. It doesn't connect to anything at all. And there's nothing funny about this. Stuff. Sixty-five million. What? Look, here's a sixty-five million dollar comedy. I can Perhaps say that too. Like to do something funny with it. That is a lot of money. So for this makes shit it right here for sixty-five million for this shit. Fucking shot. I see and YouTube creators create better videos than this with their animation. I'll just leave you to it. And she's still alive. Okay. <laughs> Sunshine gets her hands untied, throws a raisin into Dex, which he uses as a weapon, <laughs> so he can untie the hands we clearly just saw she untied herself. Oh. Well, this Bitch. isn't very much fun, is it? What are you? I think I just wet myself. Funny, right? It feels rather nice. Sixty-five million dollars. <laughs> I don't care. That dish. Yeah, it's some weird fetish oh. bullshit going on. Yeah, they know what they're doing. I'm sorry. I thought you were. I'm here. 
We're together. I never stopped believing in you, Dex. Uh, did she go blind since the last time we saw her? I don't think she's looked him in the crazy. face once during this scene. I never stopped believing in you, Dex. It is Dex, right? Unless Scooby-Doo took steroids and somehow fought his speech impediment. <laughs> Come on! Let the spastic 80s rock oh, yeah, enters their playing. world. Or was he always part of the world? Or is he I sometimes don't know. I don't in understand the world, this world. sometimes not? Or is this all just some sort of unique punishment program they use in the Matrix? <laughs> and the entire town decides they have to bring him down. He's a robot. And now... Finally, we learn the big, disturbing, shocking Well, you kind of showed him on the ground earlier. The villain of the movie the whole time was... The villain of the movie. That makes no so sense. you built yourself a human robot and recalled Sunshine, then you stole her essence to make your elixir for Brand X. What? No. Just, no. Yeah, don't even say it. All anyone no sure. ever wanted was that... Sweet sunshine goodness. No one bought my beautifully genetically giant prunes. But <laughs> how did you get in and out of the store? What You're the fuck? Perhaps if I do more ballerina <laughs> twirls, the answer will become clear. When you look like this, you can get them to do anything. But enough We're about going to me. The porn Let's business, kill you. <sighs> so we partake in more oh, sex God. puns. Tell me something. Uh, are those melons real? Some horrible CGI fighting. Oh, she's You're not so tough now. Look did she out, you almost like convinced that. me of the illusion of animation. <laughs> and we quite literally have a cat fight between the two attractive women of the film. <laughs> the bimbo's They're always mine. completely human. Get ready, lady, because I'm going to kick you where the sun don't shine. How old is she supposed to be? Wow. <laughs> and then the hat furry chick kicks the ass out of the hot diamond atrix, all while the men make wicked funny jokes about They want to make a porn out of this. I bet you somebody already has. And then she gets turned Fuck into it. an ugly woman, proving once and for yeah, all right that if you're an ugly woman, no good can come out of you. But that's not even a human. Oh, and there's uh, something having to do with Mr. Twinkie, Mr. Clean, a bunch of our products. Like Who cares? It's done. It's finished. My magnum opus for the horny, furry <sighs> SM cat fight boxing fanfic. The, I'm sure they've already done that. Weird shit. All I have to do is submit it. Oh no! I just sent it to my big shot agent in Hollywood. I ruined it! $65 million. <laughs> Why the hell do they want $65 million for it? I don't know. Sunshine chip slapped her back the ugly. Gross. She looks like a female All hunchback. All I really wanted was you. Well, you and world domination. Is that supposed Spankly, to be your true form? Dear, I don't give a spam. Oh, you fucking shithead. You yeah. know what just hit me? This is the movie <laughs> that turned Charlie Sheen insane. I mean, it, it, think yeah, about I'll it. Believe the it. timelines add up. He constantly had to be called back for redos, and if you had to return to this for ten fucking years in a row, would it kind of make sense that you would start talking like this? It was epic. The run I was on he's, made Sinatra, he's Flynn, winning now. Jagger, like, I, Richards, all of them just look like droopy-eyed, armless children. Good job, Boobie. Oh. Good job. So Sunshine agrees to marry Dex. A last-minute message is thrown in for no reason. We saved each other have sex. because the secret is inside. Inside all of us. <laughs> Whatever that means. And just when know. you think you're care. allowed to flee this cauldron of eye rape, they decide there's so much more funny they need to get out. I want to see what's under that hat. I love you, kitten. We see things so I'm done with this shit. Clearer. Hilarious. So that was food. It wasn't it was hilarious. It's, it's not going to end my emotions. That's what I hate about certain movies with that shit. Refusing to end. Charming. So that was food fight. I'm warm. I'm warm. <laughs> no. Wait. They're a bunch of dicks. Nicely done. So that was food You really cut the cheese on that Lieutenant Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Just cut off. Yeah, shut the fuck God! up. Fucking terrible it, it, this, It's awful! It's awful! I'd much rather Bunch read the credits shit. like I'm reading a memoriam of poor people who dedicated their lives to this horribleness. Damn, All adding up names. to shit. $65 million of shit. $65 million. And you know what? The price of the movie doesn't matter. Okay, yeah, it does. 
a lot. But the point I'm trying to make <laughs> is whether it was made for $65 million, million or just $65. There is nothing to be proud of in this movie. It's a $100 Everybody field. Everybody should be ashamed That's for even be. acknowledging it exists. I feel like Beelzebub's ball sack just for drawing attention to it. The animation is the worst. They never look alive. The jokes are the no worst. Soul. They never once get a laugh. The characters are the worst. They're all just stereotypes of For kids. stereotypes. And they the put plot sexual is stuff the in. worst. It's a joke. Literally. It's all written as a joke. But one with no good setup or punchline. <laughs> it is one of the worst serious. pieces of commercialized dog shit I have ever seen in my entire life. And given the roundup of movies I've done over the years, that's saying a lot. There's a lot of people that's missing in this. I don't think human hands could have made it. I think something much more horrendous and disrespectful had to pull its energy together uh, and make something so awful. I bet it just took all your brain cells like it did me. Oh, shit. I just figured it out. The what? horrible CG animation. The awful stereotypes. The tremendously unfunny humor. The fact that everything in this movie is despicably awkward and unnatural. What? It's My taking everything on me. I know who directed this film! Who? Also need way more oh. pot jokes! Lots of really? more pot jokes! This is gonna be a glutter <laughs> for the food fight of Tua! That makes more sense! For hell's motherfucking heart, I <laughs> stupid thing! Oh shit! Wait some minutes! <laughs> there you go. Problem solved. It I don't think done. he's dead though. But the evil will never truly go away. You can't get rid of him. This is the worst animated film I have ever seen. Hands down, no comparison. Really? Its scars are left deep. Who all agrees with that? Me. I'm Why sure there's something it? out there that's worse. For you. What about I Joshua? For you. you know, the line. Because I know that I have <laughs> Why seen Why don't you review worse. that shit? <laughs> I know that no other form of animation will ever be oh, worse no. than Food Fight. And because of that, that'd be weird if that popped I know up. for a fact that this film will forever, in the history books, <sighs> always be seen as passe. Yep, since you started the review, the movie's popularity has already died out. What? That was a fucking half hour ago. Well, that's practically five years in internet time. Yes, people knew it wow. was going to be the next popular thing to mock. So they decided not to mock it at all. Wait. So the popularity of something can fade even before it becomes popular? Mm-hmm. We call it the hipster effect. Knowing something is going to I be ironically cool about suddenly that. makes it traditionally cool. Why are you wearing so those gloves? So the curb, they decide to not even make it ironically cool. Hell, even thinking about it probably cuts its lifespan in half. So you're telling me that sitting through all this misery, the worst animated film of all time was? A complete Super shit. waste of time. Sorry, buddy. It was a waste of time, all right. And there's nothing I can do about it? Not unless you want to somehow do a review of the Attorney General of Crimea. She is a on what? fire right now. I don't know what that is. Oh, she is adorable. Oh, I just want to eat her up. Oh, look, she smiled. <gasps> She's like the Jennifer Lawrence of warfare. <laughs> oh. I just want just to get pinch the fuck her out of my own. I respect her. So we picking up where we left off? Okay, this makes more sense, Niall. <laughs> You have to store all that shit. Food fight brought out in you. It represents food fight, actually. Damn. Those pickles. I hope you recover. Those critics, foolish enough to think that they can review food fight. I think John Tron. Yeah, then I would like to yeah. watch your chances. Who else? There was somebody else that reviewed it. It will not leave you the same way it found you. No. It's scars. Run deep. You, you had the, the worst one, man. It's there is really scarred me. Damn insane enough to try and take on this film. No. All I cannot review that. I'm not a critic anyway. My attempt, I would be probably brave. miss out a lot of shit. I'll just be trashing it every scene. Okay. Go take some medicine or something. I, I don't know what to say. So there you go, everyone. If y'all want to watch the original video, the link is in the description. Go check it out and shit. And I'm getting the fuck out of here. So yeah, yeah. My name is Billy Bob Tenley, and I approve this message.